It's crazy taxi. No, wait. Taxi chaos. Yeah, that's more like it. It's Jordan here from Switch Watch, and we're going to take a look at the totally not crazy taxi game, Taxi Chaos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I'll get to the right game in a second. So yeah, back in the early 2000s, Crazy Taxi was a bright candle that burned out just as quickly as it started. Firstly, arcade experiences, then they made it to the Dreamcast. Living rooms around the world were filled with the sound of the offspring, and an announcer that sounded like Taz the Tasmanian Devil if he was a drunk hobo. The addictive score attack games were really great, but the series kind of dwindled afterwards, and Sega has done little with them ever since, aside from a few ill-advised ports. So if Sega ain't gonna do it, then how about let someone else fill the void? In in comes Taxi Chaos, a complete rip homage to the Sega classics. This is exactly the same game pretty much, but with a few caveats that sadly stop it being on the same level, despite being an honourable attempt. So how does this play? Well, upon booting it up you'll be greeted by two cheery protagonists, each of which have no discerning difference aside from looks and personality. What does differ, however, is your taxi of choice, which, you know, they're a good handful to choose from, each of which handle incredibly differently. You only have access to one of them at first, but it won't be long until you fulfill the requirements to unlock the rest. The goal of the game is simple. With incredibly limited time, you have to pick up as many customers as possible and take them to their desired destination. The faster and more exciting, the better. After 90 seconds, not including the slight time bonuses, your total fare will be tallied up and presented alongside other people online. Obviously, with few people playing the game in hand, I did alright, in fact I was top, and I even broke $40,000, but I wasn't connected to the internet so it didn't register. Meh. Oh well, but anyways, no doubt I'll be out of the top 10 within a few hours of general release. You also get a star rating, but I'm not entirely sure what its relationship is to the cash, since I've managed to get 5 stars with fairly low money, yet fewer stars when I got high money. I don't know what's going on there. The game is exactly like Crazy Taxi. It's modelled after New York City. Each of the passengers have different coloured indicators that show you how far they need to go. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say that hasn't been said before. Not original to this game, but you know, Taxi Chaos has a massive focus on using your little jump that your car can do. Using this will increase your multiplier, which will increase how much dosh you're given. Couple that with near misses, burnout style, driving at top speeds and taking shortcuts, you're definitely going to want to drive as crazy as possible. There's also some surprising verticality to the game. Your jump is pretty good, and if you're going at full pelt and up some ramps, you'll be driving on the roofs of buildings, skipping over them. During the chaos of the game, I found it difficult to make use of this, but during free roam mode, it was just fun trying to platform your car around the map. There's a standard mode, but if you get 5 stars on that, then you'll unlock the pro mode, which, if I'm being honest, is quite quite hard. Here you have zero navigation tools, and you'll be relying on memory as to where the various locations are. Now, the city isn't especially big, but there's a lot of it that looks incredibly similar, and you're going to be needing to play through the standard or free roam mode a lot before you can consider getting a good score on this one. I did manage to get first, but, you know, only 3 reviewers actually registered a score on that one uh, before I put this review together. Now, one thing I found interesting is that within the crowds of copy and paste customers, you know, the hipster, the Wall Street guy, the classy lady that you'll be seeing over and over again, there are a few unique characters hidden around who, alongside having more interesting dialogue, will actually give you quests. For example, you'll find a struggling comedian who asks you to find some whoopee cushions for her. These will be hidden around the map. Uh, this is not a massive part of the gameplay and could easily have been missed by myself had I not looked into the eternal achievements, but it was a nice little bonus in terms of gameplay. And it's always fun finding new people, even if it's they're not very easy to see. You mostly happen upon them by accident because they kind of look the same. But anyways, as a whole, I think the game does a really good job of capturing the gameplay of a game that many of us hold dear. I do think that it does not quite hit a home run though. There's definitely a lack of personality here. I'll get to the audio in a second, but the banter between customers is kind of one note. There's no pizzazz about many things. The menu is bland, and starting one of the runs, it just kind of just starts there's like no fanfare or like in your face attitude this is minor in the grand scheme of things but in a game with such short burst and you know, one note gameplay these kind of touches were essential and it's those things that we remember right the narrator the music the attitude that's what we really remember about crazy taxi this lacks all of those even if the gameplay is perfectly solid I do want to address something, there are a few glitches here and there, like falling through the floor sometimes, getting flung somewhere for like no reason whatsoever. 
and one that's definitely being patched, uh, the incidence of your car coming to a complete stop after a jump. For most consoles, this will be fixed at launch, but the Nintendo Switch patch will be a few weeks late due to Nintendo having a few more hoops to jump through. In the audio, well, I think you can all know by now, there ain't no offspring in sight. In fact, what we have is an incredibly bland soundtrack. I mean, it's almost offensive. It's like the most essential of pieces for a game like this, yet somehow they overlooked it. They're charging a fair whack for this game, so surely, surely some proper licensed music couldn't have been out of the question. This needed some rock music, some pop punk, some classics. That would have made it a much better experience. I know in the day one patch they are adding like one rock song, but if it ain't something by like a professional rock band, it's still going to be a struggle. My advice is just turn the music volume down in the settings and then blast some 90s pop punk out of your system or some, some kind of rock music. My suggestions, my personal suggestions randomly hole in my head by Feeder, Roots Radical by Rancid, and Wake Up, Wake Up by the Razorbacks. Just do it. The visuals, well, they are pretty poor if I'm being honest. Everything is fairly low poly aside from your personal taxi, which for some reason feels twice the size of other cars on the map. There are some really low textures as well and pop in for days on the Nintendo Switch. There's also a distinct Vaseline smearing over the top of it, which often comes with lower effort ports. I think it actually looks and plays better in handheld mode, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'm really disappointed here since this should have been like in your face colorful, you know, popping clearly from the Switcher screen, but sadly it does not. The visuals are quite a disappointment. In terms of value, this is perhaps the most difficult aspect to swallow for some. On the US eShop, the game is priced at almost $35, £31.50 in the UK and €35, Euros, although there appears to be a 10% launch discount as far as I can see. That is pricey, especially in an era where value needs more, like, you need more defending than ever, especially in arcade-style games. Personally, as much as I was fine paying that back in the day for Crazy Taxi, now it seems like a little bit too much for a game like this. I feel horrible and completely entitled for saying that, but you know, £30, that can go a long way in gaming these days. It needed to be like 30% cheaper minimum, in my opinion. You know, I don't know, like 20 bucks, and I wouldn't have minded too much, but the lack of licensed music sends me over the edge. Just three or four songs, guys, come on. Three or four, it can't be that expensive. What may present better value for some is a physical version. There is one in North America this week. I featured it in yesterday's physicals video. Europe has to wait until next month. If you want to purchase it, then we have affiliate links below in the description where you can buy it and support us at the same time. Overall, look, gameplay is solid. The gameplay is very, very solid. A little bare bones, but you know, as an arcade score attack game, it does it very well while lacking some much needed personality. They tried in some instances, but missed the easy, obvious stuff. It's still a good game though, but again, the price is a bit of a hurdle. It's a tough one to score since I did have fun playing it, trying to improve my rankings and such, and I appreciate some extra effort here and there, like going up buildings, and I'm happy I played it, and I'll for sure pick it up again when I have 5 or 10 minutes spare. But it really needed much better presentation though, and I find it difficult to recommend it, at least on the Switch. It's a tough one, but I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it, but not enough to recommend outright. It needed much more outside of the gameplay. Alright, many thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Many thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, Ganicus, God of Resin, Brent McLean, Santa Tartaruga, Alonso. Nolan Jojo, Alexander Cato, Elisa, Jcrod7776, Jonathan Rumor, and Boombox. Thanks for your support. If you watch this video all the way through, I want to know who you are. You are a legend because the longer you watch, the more YouTube likes us. So yeah, if you're one of the legends who watched all the way through, uh, just give me a little, uh, shall we say, oh, it's got to be a taxi. Give me a taxi emoji in the comments so I know who you are. Check out some of our other videos. On Monday, I tell you all the physical releases. Sunday, James tells you all the digital bargains. And also, we have a channel dedicated to PS5 and Xbox content. Check them out.